Have you ever started a new project, maybe a website redesign or a database integration or something like that, and you're not quite sure how much it's going to cost you, or you don't know how long it's going to take? Well, these are the kind of factors that you need to keep in mind and understand to really plan a project and make it effective. There's an interesting model called the Project Management Triangle that enables you to work out what your priorities are so you can plan that project effectively. I'll give you an example of what it looks like. So it begins with a triangle. And when anybody starts a new project, we always want it to be good, right? We want it to be high quality. So that's one of the factors that we think about whenever we start a new project. We also think about cost. Is it going to cost us too much? How much do we need to budget? And we also think about time. How long is this project going to take to deliver? Now, obviously, in an ideal world, what everybody wants is something that's high quality, low cost, and delivered quickly. But as we know, that hardly ever happens, if not ever. It's one of those impossible things that's very difficult to, uh, to achieve. So we need to pick just two of these three constraints. So let's say I've got a new project coming up, maybe a website redesign or something like that. And quality is really important to me. It has to be good. However, however, I don't have a lot of money to spend on this. So it also, it has to be low cost, right? It's got to be good, but it can't cost too much. Well, my compromise here is most likely going to be time, meaning this project is probably going to be quite slow to deliver. But I've understood what my priorities are. It's these two here. Let's change this up a little bit. Let's say, actually, you know, cost isn't really a factor. We've got the money. We want it to be high quality, but we want it to be delivered quickly. So these are my two priorities. In this instance, this project is probably going to be quite expensive. Okay, things that are delivered quickly and to a high standard are typically going to come at a premium price. So let's say actually, do you know what? On reflection, uh, quality, we don't need to worry about how good it is to begin with. We can work on that later. In the first instance, we just need it to be low cost and delivered quickly. So my compromise now is quality. So this project will probably be lower quality. So next time you're starting a new project, you can sit down with your team and instead of mulling over all these different questions, you can work out what your two key priorities are and then you can deliver your project on, the, on that basis.